A group of parents in the Rochester City School District sounding the alarm after their kids came home this week saying a teacher at School of the Arts made racist remarks and had students participate in racist activities. Amel Alhal spoke to two of those parents and their students and has more on this story now. Adam Tree said the students I spoke with said this week the teacher in question brought in bags of cotton to school and made students pick out seats. And on a separate occasion, the students said the teacher brought in shackles and handcuffs to use on the students during a lesson. Their mothers are outraged, and now they are calling on the district to do better. He said, it's cotton. Y'all going to be picking cotton today. So I immediately was like, oh, I'm not doing that. And then he was like, do it. It's for a good grade. Janasia Brown is a seventh grader at the School of the Arts and says being forced to pick cotton is not the first time her social studies teacher created a racist and hurtful learning environment. She said, yes, mom. He forced me to put handcuffs on my wrist. He put them on on my wrist himself. Vialma Ramos O'Neill says her son came home and told her the same things. I honestly did not believe him because I never would have expected anything like that to be happening in this day and age. The Rochester City School District has been made aware of these incidents. The district told News 8 the 7th grade social studies teacher was placed on leave and an investigation is underway. In a statement, RCSD wrote in part, quote, the district takes these situations very seriously as descriptions of what occurred in the classroom by the school community are extremely troubling. Jamir and Janasia say their teacher favored the white students in class. They said during the cotton picking incident, students in the class got up to throw out their cotton, refusing to participate. But it was only the white students who were allowed to do so. My daughter gets up to go throw her cotton out. Why she can't go throw her cotton out? And you tell her, no, you have to sit down and finish, finish picking the seeds out your cotton? Why you didn't tell the Caucasian kids they got to sit down and pick the um, seeds out their cotton? Why, why mine? Why the rest of them? That's totally unacceptable. I just felt ashamed to be my own race. He made me feel that it was okay for white people to say this to me. He made me feel like I'm just degraded. He made me feel degraded. The district is asking parents and their students who were involved in this incident to contact them with any information. Adam, Teresa, back to you. All right, Amel, thank you. Now, in a letter to parents, School of the Arts principal Kelly Nicastro wrote in part, quote, Please know the social emotional well being of our students is incredibly important to us. School counselors are available for students who may need to discuss this situation.